that's a cut. Um, everyone reset. We're going to go again really quick, everybody, really quick. All right, that's a cut. Jesus Christ. Everyone reset. Uh, we're going to go again for another take. Uh, quickly, everyone. Quickly, quickly. We're still filming. All right, everyone take five. Um, we're going to be back in five minutes. Five minutes, everybody. Could you strike that line? Crossing. <clears throat> After work, I'm going to my sister's, so think about what it is you want. Four years. Four fucking years. Finals. Uh, the top prize is 1,500, so that's pretty cool. And uh, I just pulled in a $100 game, uh, and uh, basically, to win, I had to get a, a strike in the ninth and a spare in the tenth. Uh, so I got the spare in the tenth, but I didn't get the strike in the ninth. I left it open. So, <laughs> so anyway, uh, I just wanted to call and let you know that I'm doing well and. You know, made for the quarterfinals in the Strike Force tour. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I'll talk to you later. Bye.
Oh, it's good to see you, man. Did you stop at every strip club along the way? No. I would have. I would have stopped at every single one from Los Angeles to Arizona. Oh, it's so good to see you, man. Oh, look at that. Have you been working out? Not really. All right. Hey, you want to go bowling? Maybe later. Great. Uh, can I help you with your bag? I, or uh, Actually, I probably shouldn't. Okay. Sorry. Uh, my mom's inside waiting for you, so you should go ahead and go on in, and I'll be, be right there. You know, my... I'm glad you're back. Hey. Hey. Oh, it's so great to see you. I missed you. Hey, brother. Hey. How's it going? I'm... I'm good. How was your drive? It's fine. You must be tired. Um, no. I'm okay. I bet you drove nonstop. I... Oh, James, you didn't. I... It could have been an accident. You could have fallen asleep at the wheel. Next Excuse time... me, come through. Excuse me, move aside. Thank you very much. Well, next time, you have to stay overnight somewhere. Split the trip. That's what I do. I'm fine. Hey, there he is. Hey. My son, the Hollywood writer. How, How you doing? doing? Good. Good. Yep. You still taking notes? Yeah. Oh, you look exhausted. I'm okay. Are you hungry? No, I'm okay. Hey, Becky, do we have anything to eat? I don't know. Check the refrigerator. No choice, no choice but to stay in my arms. James, you remember when you used to sing that to the cat? Yes. Oh, uh, that was fun, wasn't it? I don't know. Where are you going? Where are you going? No choice. No choice but to stay in my arms. No choice but to stay in my arms. Pouch. Yeah, hey, I'm in here. 
The door was open. are bigger than yours. What? My arms. Yes, maybe you could give me some pointers on how to sculpt my physique someday. It's great that we're living back together again. Dream come true. Just like when we were younger. Yep. Microwaving an entire stick of butter? Yeah. Why? Because I like my butter soft. So why are you microwaving an entire stick? Well, it's not like. Dude, it's not like I'm going to eat the entire thing. Exactly. Will you send out an email for me? It takes me so long to take those things up. Sure. Yeah. You know, I could really use some help down at the warehouse. One of my guys hurt himself, and now he's filing for workman's comp. Yeah, um, is there anybody else you can get to do it? Yeah, I, I guess. I came home to write. I don't really have time to be down at the warehouse doing that. Yeah, okay. Sure. Don't go shut yourself away in that room and sit in front of a computer all day. Okay. You need to get out. Do other things. You know, your Uncle Trevor had a hard time finding a job after he graduated. Maybe you want to talk to him sometime. You still do those, uh, those hunting expeditions or, uh, what, is, what does he do? It's like a hiker or a hunter or something? I don't know. Why don't you call him? Find out. Hey, Joseph. Hmm. Don't forget we have church on Saturday. No bowling. Right. You guys are going to church tomorrow. Yeah. When is Lynch church on Saturday? You'll see. We are confronted with a question. Do you want to know the question? Yes. I say, do you want to know the question? Yes. yes. Does God still work that way today? Mm. God, yes. Yes. I'll ask it again. Does God? Still work that way today? Oh, yes. Hallelujah! One more time. Does God work that way today? Yes. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Praise the Lord! James chapter 5, the King James Bible, says in verses 14 and 15, Is any sick among you? So I'll ask, is any sick among you? Yes. Mm -hmm. Let him call for the elders of the church so they may pray over him and anoint him with the oil in the name of the Holy Spirit. And how does he get healed, people? Jesus! Jesus. That's right. 
and the prayer of the faith shall save the sick, and the Lord shall raise him up. And if he have committed sins, they shall be healed. Yes. Hallelujah. So I'll ask again, is any sick among you? And I command you to come yes. to me. Yes. Let yes. me place my hand upon you and anoint you with oil. Yes. Be forgiven of your sins by the power yes. of the Holy Spirit and feel the healing powers Thank of God. You. Will you come you here can right do now it. You don't be afraid. We'll be right here. You can do it. Come on, now don't be afraid. You can do it. We're right here with you. That's it. You can do it. We're right here. Come on up. The Lord loves you and he wants you to be healed. Yes. It's time to be forgiven of your sins. Yes. And in the power of the Holy Spirit, you are healed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Go with me on an expedition? Yeah. You ever handle a rifle before? No. Pick it up. Go ahead. It's not loaded. See? I wouldn't want you accidentally shooting yourself or worse yet, shooting me. Cool. Hey, keep it pointed up. Yep, put the camera down. Okay. You know, when I was eight, your great uncle Jim, great man, my uncle, he gave me my first rifle. And when I was nine, he took me on a hunt. I shot my first coyote. Your grandmother had a fit. She and your grandmother tried to keep me away from your uncle Jim, and it didn't work. <laughs> You're not ready. Ready? What are you talking about? Yeah, a man looks you in the eye and you blink. What are you going to do when you come eyeball to eyeball with a pack of coyotes? Not one of your movies. This is real life. Okay, Teddy Roosevelt. Are you going to take me along or not? When you look a man in the eye, a man stares you in the eye and you blink, what are you going to do when you come face to face, eyeball to eyeball with a pack of coyotes? Are you going to piss your pants? I know. What do you know? What do you know? You know anything about calling a coyote? Yeah, I do, yes. I mastered it while trading fur with frontiersmen on the Oregon Trail. <laughs> do you know anything about calling a coyote? It's basic. No. It's okay. You, when, you, when you master the call, then your task is easy. The coyote will come right up to you. strolls up. Walks right up to you. Yeah, they're opportunists. They're hunters. They're scavengers. They usually hunt at night, but they're scavengers during the day. And if you see them out during the day, they're most likely in search of something small or weak or dead or dying. And this sound, it's irresistible to them. That's actually pretty cool. Do that again. <laughs> yeah. uh, do we have enough light in here? Yeah. Okay. All right. God is good. God is great. And we thank him for our food. Amen. Amen. And Lord, thank you so much for James' safe arrival and for having our whole family back again to eat dinner. Amen. All right. I'm done dating. All these guys are assholes. Sorry, Mom. Maybe you should stop going on dates with guys that are covered in tattoos. Oh, well, not all guys covered with tattoos are assholes. Language, please. Sorry, Mom. But all the ones that you date that are covered in tattoos are assholes. 
I have an idea. Why don't you go on to one of those sites where they, um, they pick your uh, date, like a, a matchmaker. Those don't work, Dad. <laughs> My old friend met his wife on a site like that. Cassie likes guys with big muscles and tattoos. That's her type. How about someone from church? Dad, come on. You find the best people in church. Dad. That's a problem with young people today. They have no religion. Right. Because religion just fixes everything. It helps. Believe it or not, God answers prayers. Hmm. When's God going to heal me? Joseph, you're healed. Seriously, though, I don't know why I still have to take medication. Lots of people take medication. I take medication for my thyroid. Yeah, but it's not the same thing. It's it's different. But... You're a lot better. Joseph, you're 100% better. Excuse me, I'll be right back. I mean, what would your mom say? How would this make your dad feel? What about your sister? I think this might actually really upset your brother. some mentally ill children. We got some cancer patients who have survived. Okay, let's get this thing started. And for all of you at home watching tonight, I, I assure you, you will be entertained. Let's put your hands up in the air. All right, let's get them hands up. Let's get them hands up in the air. Come on, mom, dad, come on, I'm the preacher. Free your mind of any thoughts. Free your mind of any devilish thoughts, James. Cassidy, you, you don't want any bad thoughts in your mind, okay? James, come on up here, son. We're gonna heal you. Jesus is gonna heal you from whatever ails you, whatever, whatever affliction you have. Come on up here, come on. I'll play one. All right, there we are. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit? Most definitely. All right, we are gonna heal you tonight. We are gonna do a healing. Yes. Hallelujah. Heal me of always choosing the wrong guy. I feel the presence of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! All right. There, you're healed, right? You're healed. You're healed. I'm healed. See? With the power of the Lord, anything can happen. in the dirt and they're like round with polka dots on them but they actually camouflage in the sand when a fish swims by they actually catch it are you talking about frog and then, fish? no and then there's um there's a different fish that's called a frog fish and um they camouflage in the they camouflage in the coral, and they actually use something that's on their head, and they actually... We haven't seen you since you moved back from L.A. Like okay. Yeah, man. You've been checking out your stuff on Facebook. It's time to go to bed, sweetheart. Uh, it's it's time You can bed. take the game with you, okay? Just his first day. Yeah. I sent you guys a message, actually. Oh. oh. Well, while I was there, I got this wine. My girlfriend got it for me. It's from Napa Valley. You can only get it from the vineyard there. You can't get it online, so. so nice. Pretty good. Yes. Let's have some. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. 
you go, guys. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks. You're welcome. How do you like it? It's aggressive, stringent. Mm -hmm. It has a good balance of acidity, though. I like it a lot. James? It's oaky. So, um, I was thinking, what if you guys helped me make my movie? You know, we used to work on school projects and yeah. go on dates together and all that. It was always fun, right? We did always do things together, didn't we? Yeah. Until I hugged you for myself. I think these are why you could never keep a girlfriend. All the other girls were jealous. They had every reason to be. So what's next? I have no idea. I feel like I'm going from one air-conditioned room to another. Oh, it's gotta be a lot better than here. I mean, anything's better than here. Still living with my parents. Same apartment for the past 17 years. I'm back with my parents, too. All right. Ow. Oh. How old are you? Three. Mm. 37. I thought I'd be married with kids by now. So, um... Remember when we first met when I was working at Blockbuster? Yeah, mm -hmm. you worked at Blockbuster. Yeah, huh? when I was in high school. Yeah. You were working on a feature film at the time. Whatever happened with that? Yeah, um... Couldn't find an editor to finish the film. Uh, ran out of funds. The sound sucked. DP was the only one who got paid. And after a while, the DP said he would work on the edit, but he never got around to it. He still has all the footage. Yeah, I won't give it back until I pay him what I owe him. James? James? Hmm. What kind of movie do you want to make? I've come to realize that I'm not much of a writer, so I'm just looking to bounce ideas, collaborate. Do, do you have any ideas? Anything low budget? You know? Do you have any ideas? How about a superhero film? A d are, are you being serious? Yeah. Yeah, I, I've been working on the superhero script for a while. And then like a licensing or copyright issue with this? No, no. It's based off of public domain superheroes. I don't know what that means. It means they're free to the public. Okay. <clears throat> Um, who are the superheroes? Catman and Kitten with the Vigilante Vixens. Catman. Yeah, Catman. He's he's like Batman. Um, uh, and there's um, um, a Kitten, his sidekick. It's kind, of, it's kind of like Robin, right? They're, they're golden age superheroes from the 40s. And um, they were in a series of comics that didn't have enough readers or, or something like that. And then, um, and then over time, the right time that she would bowl and then one time I, I sat down after I had a bad role and she was like you need to sit down and pray to Jesus like she was telling me what I should do and how I should act maybe it's just how she acts no that is not proper bowling etiquette you do not act that way Joseph I can't have you getting mad at me right now I'm not mad at you I'm just talking I'm mad at her Joseph it is over you will bowl better next time just learn to control your emotions me you should tell her that what are you, on her side or something? I don't want to deal with this! I didn't come back to Arizona to deal with your shit! I spent half my life dealing with 
with your disease. You ever think that I have my own problems to deal with? I don't care. Whatever you have to complain about, I don't care. Keep it the fuck away from me. Jobs? No, thank you. Not many jobs. No, well, sometimes it just takes a while. Yeah. God has a plan for us all. I remember back in the day when my friend graduated college, it took him like over a year to find a job. No, I graduated three years ago, so I guess it's just different times. Still necessary. With the plastic knife. We can't have sharp objects around the house. Mom, he's not gonna do anything. James, don't cause trouble while you're still here. We're looking forward to your making things better. You know how to handle your brother's disease. Yes, I understand how you want me to handle his disease. I'm supposed to go in my room and shut the door and then not here and we all talk about his disease but we don't really talk about him like why don't we talk about joseph i worry about joseph every day james you left i left i don't want to stack cartons of fucking milk for the rest of my life in a freezer james language your father didn't mean that that's exactly what my father meant he does this all day talk to me about a job all day every day he wants me to find a shit job and be miserable doing it. What do you know? What do I know? That shit job has always provided for this family. Thank you. What do you know about Joseph's disease? Did you get to know him real well while you're living it up in Los Angeles? Yeah, I probably got to know him about as well as you did, because here are the things that you think you know about Joseph. Something you read in a pamphlet from the psych ward, or something you saw on a TV movie, and then you treat him like he's a fucking serial killer on it. No one's saying that Joseph is violent. I just worry that someday someone's going to say something and who knows what'll happen. Nothing would happen. Nothing would happen. Stop acting like you know what would happen. Joseph can't handle certain situations. He would be fine. He would be fine. Yeah, I remember. We were playing basketball and this guy follows Joseph really hard. Oh, Jesus. The metal park bench story. Yeah, well, he got in Joseph's face. Uh -huh. Joe got so angry. He was flipped so over bad. a metal yeah, I know. He, he flipped over a metal bench. I remember it. I remember you talking about it more than it actually happening because it was like a decade ago. Nothing happened. He God, flipped over a park God bench. God knows what would happen if I hadn't intervened. Nothing! He was ready to rip that guy's head off. I have done the research, and I know the warning signs. Yeah. Each and every single day, your mother and I are doing everything we can to prevent anything from happening to your brother. Thank you. Joseph needs that from us. Good, I want to scrap a fucking medal for you. He can't do it on his own.
Been out here all day. Haven't seen a daggone thing. I know, huh? Hard to believe we spent our hard-earned money on this shit, huh? county by now. You like that? Yeah, that was Did good, you get man. him? Did you get him? I have no idea. It's Sorry, good. fellas. Just new new to the experience. That apparently. actually fucking worked! Of course it worked. Wow! Well, you boys come back, I'll give you a free one, all right? Woo! Got him. It took a while, but we got him. We good got job. him. I am the coyote. It's them who don't know they are the prey. I am the coyote. It's them who don't know they are the prey. I am the coyote. It's them who don't know they are the prey. Okay. Sure. You want to be a filmmaker? Be the coyote. You shoot coyotes. When I was eight, I wanted to be a fireman. At nine, a hunter. I was 12, an astronaut. At 15, a great lover. At 17, a movie star. Well, I went to college, to law school. I became a lawyer. But I found that practicing corporate law didn't suit me. So at 40, I realized that what I wanted most of all was to be a coyote. I write. I'm not a household name, but my books do all right on Amazon. I'm not a great lover, but I don't do too bad. I'm not a movie star because I don't want to be. What do you want, my nephew? It took me 40 years to, to learn what I wanted most of all. Let's hear it. Let's hear it? Come on, you, you embarrassed? You think somebody's going to see you? I, I think it's a little silly. You howled before. What's the problem? I, I was howling to make fun of that guy. Because you're a man, you can't be the coyote. Hmm? Most people can't. Being what you want to be, living the life you want to live, it's too hard for most. I am who I want to be. Ow!
<clears throat> Hello? Hey, Joe. Um, do you want to go to eat later? What? Do you want to go to eat at Denny's at 4 p.m.? Why? Do you want to or not? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I'm pretty busy. I got a lot of stuff, you know, that I got to do. I'm, you know, I'm sorry got... for arguing with you yesterday. What was that? What did you say? I said I'm sorry for arguing with you yesterday. I'm sorry I yelled at you. You know what? I think we have a bad connection. It's probably your phone. I'm sorry I yelled at you yesterday. So you want to take me out to dinner because you're a bad person? Do you want to come? I'm sorry, I can't hear you again. I, I lost Do you. Do you want to come to dinner? It's like you're underwater. Like you, you're like, all of a sudden I can hear you. Never and mind. Then, okay, okay, I'm fine. But you're paying, right? Yeah. And I can order as much as I want. Within reason. This is a tradition. Good old days. I, I come here to talk business. Oh, do you want to make movies like uh, James? Yep, I'm a filmmaker. Cool. Mm. What kind of films have you made? Well, I made a feature film. Um, kids go up to a cabin and a killer starts picking them off one by one. Can I see it? Uh, no, um, it was never finished. Oh. No. You're still working on it. Um, no. Can't afford to. Uh, ran out of funds. <clears throat> oh. So you've never, like, actually made a film before? Um. Uh, well, Catman's gonna be different. Um, we're gonna get the money to make the film. Cool. Yeah. Where are you gonna get the money? We have an executive summary to pitch to potential investors. Which investors? Potential investors. Oh. Yeah. You guys should make an indie movie. Oh. I want to get paid to make movies. You know, that, that's the goal. You get paid to make movies, move out to L.A., Find a beautiful wife, start a family. Well, why do you want to start a family? I'm getting old. You know, running out of time. Besides, Catman is a low-budget movie. All right, it's only five hundred thousand dollars. Five hundred thousand dollars? Where the hell are you guys gonna find five hundred thousand dollars? Films are made for hundreds of millions of dollars. I just want a small piece of that pie. You know, just a just a small little piece. Superhero movies. Mm. Oh. Superheroes. Yeah. Cool. Those big franchise movies, you know, the, the, the summer blockbusters. Yeah. Seriously, though, where are you guys going to find $500,000? Joseph, I don't think we're going to get $500,000. I think we're going to find someone who can find someone else who can get us something. <laughs> fake it? Is that what you're saying? We pretend to have money? I feel like a fake. Tell him to shut up, all right? We're making a strategic move. He's going to kill it with his wine. Stop the car and put him out. Let him walk back to his father's apartment. A useless dreamer. You got dreams, but you got the boss to make them real. David, when the actors get there, just remember they don't know what we have or don't have. It's gonna be like a game of poker. Just don't show your hand too early. But do you really think it's a good idea to lie to people? I, I wanna work in the industry. I don't wanna make a bad name for myself. <laughs> a bad name for himself? What name? What name? He's got no name. Nobody knows him. He's a nobody. Now pull over and toss his ass out. Hollywood is smoke and mirrors and card tricks. It's a game. 
People who play the game win. I want to win. I want for us to win. I want to make a movie. People who have game win. People who don't get eaten. Eaten? Yeah. Tell them. Eaten. Eaten, gobbled up by monsters. Left on the side of the road. When we get a name actor attached to our script to generate buzz. We use his or her name and connections and contacts to generate the funds we need. I suppose so. I suppose so. I suppose so. I suppose so. That's pathetic. All right? Of course you suppose so. That's why you've never fulfilled a dream and you're 37 years old. Give me a break. Fake it till you make it. Exactly. Got it. I am the coyote. It's them who don't know they are the prey. I am the coyote. It's them who don't know they are the prey. I am the coyote. It's them who don't know they are the prey. Be a filmmaker, be the coyote. Yeah, they're opportunists. They're hunters, they're scavengers. They usually hunt at night, but they're scavengers during the day. And if you see them out during the day, they're most likely in search of something small, weak, dead, or dying. And this sound, it's irresistible to them. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Really? Uh, that would be great. Of course. Of course. We would be open to that. Uh, sure. Yeah, it was nice meeting you too. Yes. Bye. Uh, talk to you soon. Bye. Yes! So good. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> David. Oh, that was Monica. She just called to say that she's very excited about the project, happy to meet us, and she might have a possible distribution and limited theatrical release. I can feel it. It's really gonna work out. Is she gonna send us the contact info? Yeah, yeah, totally, totally. Uh, uh, she said she's going away to work on another film, but when she gets back, she'll put us in touch with them. <laughs> you see those palm trees over there? Yeah, I see them. I'm gonna see if I can run to them. Is that about those palm trees right there? Yeah. Do you think I can make it? You mean those palm trees right here. there? Yeah, here. Hold my bag. I'm not gonna hold that. Okay, fine. Because you're a man, you can't be a coyote. Hmm? Most people can't. They accept what they are. They adjust to what is. Accepting is easy for them, not for me. Being what you want to be, living the life you want to live, is too hard for most of us. I am who I want to be. Ow! cold in here. Products rotated and Saturday's routes are built. Good. 
Did you go to graduate school to work in a warehouse? Are you going to stay here, or are you going to do something about it? You tired? Yeah. Good. It's a good day's work. What are you doing on the couch? Your computer's in your room. Oh, I am so happy to be home. Those guys are so immature. Hey, look what I got. The big bopper. Bop. <laughs> How's the writing going? Not. That's good. Check this out. Whoopee cushion. And then I got this keychain, which is really neat because it's got handcuffs on it that actually open up. And it's got a flashlight and then a slot machine. And you pull the handle, it actually changes. It's kind of neat. <laughs> got to get it back to the triple sevens, so. though. There we go. You know, I haven't been bowling very well lately. I need to practice some more, so if you want to come with me bowling tomorrow, you could. You could. <laughs> Seriously? Yeah. Oh, cool. Well, we were going to get something to eat first, if that's all right. Okay. <laughs> all right. Set them. <laughs> hey, stop it. Hey, no. Ah! <laughs> stop. I'm going to fart on you for real. I'm going to fart. That was fun. We should do that more often. That was fun. <laughs> Man, that Marty guy. He really bothers me. He acts like he's the king of the bowling alley. Who's Marty? Uh, he's a guy that I was in a league with, but I dropped out because he's always negative. Uh, I could. Never focus. How do you focus with everything that goes on? What do you mean? I, I guess it just feels like sometimes it takes like everything I have to try to just hold it all together. And there's just, I've been, 
and experiencing. There's just, there's so much noise. <laughs> Tell me about it. Mm -hmm. They keep smiling. I guess you just do, you know? No matter what happens, no matter what you're going through, you just... You have to be able to look at yourself and believe that everything's gonna be okay. A lot of really important people, and I just, I did not know what it was like, what you were going through. I'd... It's okay. I mean, I'm sorry that I got sick. So am I. Everything's going to be okay, you know. You're my brother, man. I love you, James. I love you, too. Keep counting down from 10, and every time I get to one, I start over again. Okay, she's there, and she's gone. I'm not right today. All right, everyone, uh, that's a cut, so we're going to reset, but uh, we got to do it really quick. So everyone reset quickly, quickly. We're still rolling. All right, everybody, we're going for a take. We're really going for a take. Quiet on set. Action. Cut. Oh man, I think the sea stand came out. It's not looking good. Can you even see me? Yes, we can see you. How many more times are we gonna do this today? As many as it takes. Great. Talk to me, man. What's going on? How are you feeling? I don't know, James. I mean, it's your story. So what do you think?